Hello guys, welcome to the channel. This is Airflow's Reviews doing a travel vlog right now. So today we are in Chal Batangas, uh, visiting this very enormous and magnificent church. This church has been here since the 1500s and it still looks like as if it was just built a year ago. Now it's very enormous, one of the biggest churches in the Philippines and I'm excited to see what is inside. But just the heads up guys, um, out of respect uh, I didn't take a video inside, I just got a little shots that I have, okay? And uh, just have a look. So, um, to note guys, uh, coming here from Manila it's just two hours okay and it's very wasteable parking is very wide so you'll have no problem parking the thing is we came here on a Tuesday uh, so there isn't much people but to warn you every Sunday it's really full and very traffic here so be warned okay but the other thing I'd like to tell you guys is that good news elderly people and children are allowed here this was when there was a GCQ okay uh, now there's actually a GCQ again because of the Delta variant, but uh, guys, you can come here, right? So I'll show you some pics of the inside just to show you how beautiful it is. So prior to going in, of course, uh, there is this uh, place where you can light a candle, say a prayer vigil, okay? Um, you'll find us on your way in. Alright, so we are now inside the church. As you can see, it's very wide, very spacious. And the ceiling is very high. I'd probably say about 50 to 70 feet. I'm really not sure, but it really is very high. And you can see the intricate details, the walls, the design, the chandeliers. They're made of real candle. Um, and also, there are many uh, ch uh, seats here, uh, you know, to uh, sit down. You don't have to worry, but just to warn you, even Sundays, this gets. Uh, really full so let's go straight uh, ahead but before we do let me just show you the ceiling so that's a snapshot of the sea ceiling and we were here like in the afternoon and you could see you know the sun radiating <laughs> it's like a very holy serene place that you can feel um, but the other thing that you know at the ceiling is look at the artistic paintings that's uh, over there uh, so this is the ceiling near the altar all right, now guys, if you want to go to mass here, uh, I'm gonna sh look. Just look at the screen. Those are the schedules. Okay. So with that said, uh, let's go outside and have a look. What else is here? All right, guys, that was a very magnificent view of the inside of the church. It's very wonderful. Once you go inside there, you know you feel like uh, you know your spirit is revived, renewed. You feel you know the holy land inside. Um, and look at the height of that uh, church. Wow, just so amazing. But the other thing I want to show you guys is the one that's in the back. If you can see, you know the streets over there, the houses. They're old style Spanish era houses. You feel like you know you're in Europe or in Spain when you go there. So it's very very amazing. Okay. And plus you can see, you know, the parks over here and the park in the back. You can let your children run around there. We saw some children running around there, uh, you know, when they went to, when they went over here. Okay. So guys, let's uh, go to the next uh, attraction. Uh, well, just to warn you guys, of course, since people come here, mostly tourists, you're gonna see a lot of uh, street vendors peddling their goods. Uh, mostly the products here in uh, Tal Batanga. See the dried fish, uh, some, you know, makapuno. Uh, well, they really are very damn persistent, you know. <laughs> They're gonna, you know, uh, force you to buy their products. But for me, I do have a soft heart, you know, and I pity them, uh, you know, because the, they're doing an honest living, doing an honest living. And uh, what I did is that, you know, I bought some food, one of each from them, okay? Uh, you can see one. This guy sells fish. This guy sells the other uh, se same fish. Uh, this one sells a spasol. Uh, this one the small dealy uh, fish. So those are the goods. Be forewarned. Once you uh, get out of your car, okay, they're gonna come swarming at you. All right, and they're gonna be persistent, and they want you to buy their goods. Now it's up to you if you don't want. But you know, uh, you know if. Just an advice, guys. You know, if you guys have the budget, you know, and you don't mind spending like a few hundred pesos, I mean, come on, guys, uh, just uh, help them out. Well, uh, that's what I did, and that I'm happy. Uh, well, 
if you guys want to know how the food tastes like, you know, standard taste, nothing too delicious nor nothing too bad. You know, just taste the same to your or delis, you know, if you fry it. Okay, uh, good with tomato and suka, of course. Uh, Espasol, everything is fine, alright? So guys, if you guys are planning to go to the south and want to visit a unique place, uh, why don't you consider going here in Chalbatangas at the minor basilica of St. Martin of Tours? and marvel the large church and the architecture here as well as if you don't mind buying the local products uh, uh, and as well as uh, have a look at the spanish houses i'm sure guys you will uh, be amazed by this church okay well that's it for now please leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time thank you very much for watching